Okay, yes. The interview is tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, we're having an interview tomorrow. Oh, interview? Yes, I'll send the address to this number. Okay. to cook. Who will even cook for them? Okay, okay, you can buy a total. Because that's the only thing I know you can do. <laughs> See, what I know is that tomorrow, if I'm going for that interview, you will follow me. So that you will be giving me sign and be telling me what to Uncle, do. I'm not going anywhere with you. That is teaching me I'm not going anywhere. I, I, I thank you, I have seen this one. Nya, 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 nya. Is it not you that is saying that I should go and, go and get a job? Eh, uh, it's the only cooking job that you see. I better go and forget my work, Jared. What I know is that tomorrow, I'm going for that interview and you're going to follow me. I'm not following you to anywhere. You will follow me. Follow you. you follow me. You will see now. You follow me. You follow me. You will see. You follow me. 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 I'm not following you, I beg. Leave me. Come, come, come. Let tomorrow reach and come and tell me that you are not following me. Yeah, yeah, they had like I know here. Malela! I'm here now. Uh, look at how you're wasting time. What of you got there now? They're not dead at the time of village. I'm doing this thing because of you, because you just want a job. Because that thing is cheating. See, eh, when we go there, anything I show you, you do it too. I'll be directing you on what to do. Let's go. See, this job that I'm going for now, you don't know that I have done it before. That time that I used to work in um, Hotel Presidential. As chef, I used to uh, uh, cook here. Yeah. What is um, uh, shibri shibri food? Um, Mr. Markendio, this is an interview for the position of a chef in this hotel. And in front of you, I lined up ingredients for you to prepare mayonnaise. And this mayonnaise is for you to prepare coleslaw. And you have just 10 minutes to do that. By the way, is this little girl with you? Yes, she's my, she's my cousin. I'm her uncle. You're her uncle. She's your cousin. How? That's by the way. Please, your time starts now. Wait, I'm going to prepare um, mayonnaise. And use the mayonnaise and make... And make coleslaw. Your time has already started. Please. Drop it! 
What's this mess? Drop it. Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Markangel, we can see that making mayonnaise and using it for coleslaw is actually a bit difficult for you. So we are giving you grace. This is mayonnaise and this is a recipe for making coleslaw. There are four steps. I'm going to read it out and you follow. And your time starts now. Here. Yeah. So number one, mix mayonnaise and salt. When you're done, please let us know so we can move to the next step. Are you done? <coughs> ah. Number two. Place garbage and carrots in a bowl. <laughs> are you are you done? Yes. Number three, pour your mayonnaise mix over cabbage and stir. Sorry, Mr. Mackenzie. What are you doing? I'm staring. <laughs> oh. Okay. Number four. Chill in the fridge for one hour. Number four, say chill in the fridge. I'm chilling in the fridge. <laughs> and it's one hour. You people should knock on the fridge. <laughs> my friend, what are you doing there? Sir, with your respect, you are disturbing my job. <coughs> it's like you want me to fail this audition. <laughs> I want me to chill in the fridge. Manuela and success. Uncle, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, where has uh, Uncle David gone to? His door is locked. Where has he gone to? Uh, he's coming. He went to buy something. You can wait for him. Okay, let me wait for him. Ah, uh, uh, Uncle, go and carry chair now. Um, don't worry, I'm okay here. Let me sit down and wait for him. Hmm. Okay. Eh, uh, success. What are you even saying? I said nice, I want to go to board and school, but I don't know the one I want to go to. Ah, uh, uh, why board in school? 
Mm-hmm. You don't know that if you go to body school, you will not be able to shoot comedy again. Mm. I be don't want to shoot comedy again. I want to be shooting comedy. Mm-hmm. There are so many day schools around that are very good. It's just that some of them are very expensive. Like the one that my friend is going to in Lekki. The school is very fine, but it's very expensive. But that father is rich. Oh. The school is to take them for excursion in Dubai. And their school uniform is very beautiful. But the school fees is very expensive. How much is the school fees? The school fees is four million naira. Hey! Emanuela! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What kind of lie is that? Eh? You saw people to be inside the house, reading your books, or doing your assignment. You're sitting on outside under this hot sun, and you're lying. Look at the kind of lie you're telling. What kind of school is four million naira, yet the school is not popular? Nobody knows the school. But, Keep quiet! Don't lie again for me! Stop lying on me, Manuela! I'm not your matras! You're lying! <laughs> See, there's no school that is 4 million naira! There are other good good schools that are 150,000 naira, that are 50,000 naira! We are hearing about them! How come we are not hearing about this one that is 4 million naira? Eh? See, let me tell you, if there's any school like that that is 4 million naira, our politicians will not be flying their children outside to go and study. Even if it is heavily language the school is teaching. See, let me tell the both of you. Nobody can do that kind of a thing. Even God cannot do that kind of a thing. Because that is typical wickedness. And anything that God cannot do does not exist. Uncle, she, anything God cannot do doesn't exist. Uh huh. It doesn't exist. Uncle, God cannot lie. Does lie exist? Oh. I answer, <laughs> Mr. Noito. <laughs> Well, we're not talking about lies here. We're talking about schools. Hey, Manuela, you're too young to be lying. Stop lying. Uh, hey, David, thank God you're here. Please come. David, who is teaching this student how to lie like this? Why would children be sitting down out here and be lying on this hot afternoon? Emanuela is saying that there's a school in Lekki that is 4 million naira. And yet, we don't know the name of the school. Um, Emanuela, what kind of lie is this one now? Eh? If you people don't know what to say, just go inside and sleep now. Eh? Must you talk? Can't you see, son? That is what I told them. You see that they go inside and do the assignment or they find somewhere to sleep? Uh-huh. If there's a school in Nigeria that is four million naira, how come you don't know the school? I don't know the school and the school is not popular. My brother, don't mind them, eh? Expensive school that is not popular. Is that one expensive school? <laughs> Let's go inside, Joe. Sorry for keeping you My brother, you knock your door up, eh? Uncle, you are right. The school is not popular. That is exactly Among what I'm... Among the poor. Eh? <laughs> this school, let's go. Emanuela. <laughs> Did you call me poor? No! Uncle, I'm not calling you poor. I'm just saying that poor people do not know expensive schools. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 Emanuela. Are you literally calling us poor people? No. Uncle, I'm not calling you poor people. I'm just saying that poor people has no business knowing expensive schools. <laughs> My brother, she called us poor. You <laughs> call me poor. A homie. What kind of rubbish is this one now? Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Ah! Eberi! Yes? So you bought this iPhone 11 Pro Max? Yes, now. Nah. I thought you were supposed to pay your house rent from that money. Yes, but Susa said I should use it to buy iPhone 11. Eh? Success said you should use it to buy iPhone. And you used it to buy iPhone? Yes, now. So what will now happen to your house rent? I've spoken to the landlord. He gave me until Tuesday to pay the house rent. But Tuesday is closed. How do you intend to get the money? Don't worry. I'm expecting money from somebody tomorrow. Eh, okay. Nice. But there's a problem, oh. Uh-uh. There's one Gucci belt I saw online. It's very fine. And it's expensive. But I want to buy it. Eh, how much is it? 300000 Ah. That's very expensive. Oh. And, but I'm thinking of using the money I'm expecting tomorrow to buy it. How much are you expecting? 300,000. 300,000? And you want to use all the money to buy one belt? Anna. Then how do you intend to pay your house rent? Don't worry, when another person sends me money, I always to pay it. What if nobody else sends you money? I'm on Instagram now, sure, sure. But wait, too. are you wishing me bad luck? No, I'm not wishing you bad luck. I'm Brother, just saying. Good afternoon. Success, good afternoon. Good afternoon, no. Afternoon. Afternoon. Sorry, please excuse me. Is this turn around? Yes, he's inside. Okay, thank you. Sorry, please excuse me. I want to ask you a question. Okay. See, eh, somebody's about to send me 300,000. I need to pay my house from that money. Mm-hmm. But there is one Gucci belt I saw online, and it's 300,000. What do you think I should do? Should I pay my house rent or buy the Gucci belt? You say you want to pay your house rent? Yes. 
but there is a Gucci belt that you like. Mm-hmm. How much are you expecting again? Three hundred thousand. Uh-uh. It's simple now. Nah. Use the money to pay your house rent. Then, if another money comes, you can buy the Gucci belt. Mm-hmm. Mm. You don't know fashion. Please go 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 go. Mm. Huh. Auntie Bere, use the money and buy Gucci belt. Eh? 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 Uh-huh. See eh? If Auntie Bere wear that Gucci belt and go to look for a job, people will sit and know that she's a big girl, and they can even give her contract. Success. Auntie Bere, I think. Tell them who. Oh. Mhm. Auntie Bere, don't mind them. Use the money and buy Gucci belt. Buy very long one. So when the landlord is throwing your property, so it can use the Gucci belt and tie your things together. <laughs> Success. Eh? Uh-huh. After all, your properties are no much. <laughs> it's not just one way trainer, one iPhone, and four clothes. <laughs> Don't even have your own bathroom bucket. You want to buy Gucci belt. <laughs> Kai! And to hush puppy. <laughs> Very soon, Dubai police will start investigating your mother. It's people like you that should be arrested for multiple crimes. <laughs> because you are the problem that we have in this country. Success! Or you buy that Gucci belt and you hang yourself. Since I'm your advisor. <laughs> <laughs> so when you die, go and tell God that. And to start say that you should buy Gucci belt. Mm. This way your face is like this. Are you sick? No. Are you hungry? No. Hey! Eh? Wonder shall never end. Eh? You at your age. Hey! There's nothing I will not see in this life. Ah, uh, Uncle, what happened now? Success! So you had a breakup. Breakup, Kwa. Yeah. Uncle, please, I'm a swap picking. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Better not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Success. Tell me, what is really the problem? Uncle Sien. Mm-hmm. Mom asked me a question in class today. And I got it right. But she still punished me and flogged me. Ah uh-uh. Again? Yes. Hey! I will report her to the principal, but the principal was supporting her. I don't, I, I don't know what is wrong with this, your teachers and your principal, eh? Do they want me to remove you from school and put you into business, eh? But wait, too. Are you sure you got your auntie's questions correctly? Yes. Okay, tell me, what, what did she ask you? Uncle Sim, why don't you tell those that live in things that have life in them? Why not live in things that don't have life in them? Mm-hmm. So she now asked Chibike to give her examples of living things. So Chibike now said animal. Mm-hmm. So she now said I should give her example of non-living things. So I now said human being. <laughs> she now me. See, eh? it's like something is wrong with you. Like you don't have sense. So all this time you be going to school, you just there to be wasting money. In fact, I'm going to call your father and report you to your father. Eh? How would you say that human being is a non-living thing when they already told you that? Not living things are things that doesn't have life, and living things are things that have life. Okuweto, I think we're a human being. Yes, I'm a human being. Do you have life? What do you mean? Okusie, living things are things that have life. Why not living things are things that don't have life in them? Okuasi, are like this. You don't have life. Oh. <laughs> Look at where you're living. Just like you do. Okuafi, it's in today. I think hunger is catching you. <laughs> Actually, you know that living is supposed to be eaten. And you, you are not eating. Okusien, <laughs> you are a non-living thing. 